Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana and this is Don't Mind Me. Today I want to talk to you regarding adoption and the effect it has had on myself um, having two adoptive siblings. But first I'd like to apologise for not posting um, over the last couple of weeks. I have been pretty busy um, getting things ready for the craft fairs that have started again this year. Um, okay, to the video. My parents were told that they couldn't have kids, so back in 1960 they adopted my brother, and two years later they adopted my sister. And then in 1965 I came along. Now, from what I remember is I was always brought up knowing that my brother and my sister were adopted. Now, they've both taken the adoption differently. My brother had his issues, as my sister did, but with my brother, I was very, very close. And when I lost him in 2012, I was devastated. As for my sister, she has never really accepted the fact that she was given up for adoption. There was a lot of anger and I guess she took it out on my parents. Um, she's always thought that no one's good enough or she hasn't been good enough. This is so wrong. Anyone who is adopted is always good enough. It's not their fault that they've been adopted. It's not their parents' fault they've been adopted. Certain issues have forced those parents to give their child up for adoption, whether it's mental health issues, being too young, parents not being together, Adoption is hard for anyone, whether you're the adoptee or whether you're brought up with adoption or brought up with adopted, uh, adopted siblings. My brother tried to follow in my father's footsteps by joining the Navy, but certain things happened and it didn't work out. Um... He had, as I say, he had issues um, and I lost him in 2012. He and I were so, so close. I could tell him anything and he could tell me anything. Whereas my sister, unfortunately, was the complete opposite. When I lost my mum, the first thing she did was blame me. She had been away. And, of course, it was guilt for not being around. She lived abroad at this point, And she had her own family, as did I. But she always seemed to have a chip on her shoulder. The fact that she thought I wasn't good enough. Um, I've actually learned to deal with it. Um, it still hurts. She, but she's still my sister. I love her dearly. But I did find that it was me always taking that first step to find out how she was. Um, to the point where I've been told to um, take a step back and let her contact me, which I have done. Um, we are in contact, but not as much as I'd like. And unfortunately, I can't talk to her like I could with my brother. Um, my parents loved my brother and my sister as much as they loved me. Yes, everybody has their ups and downs, including my parents and my siblings. But I know in their hearts, they love them, as, as, as I say, as much as... They love me. And I have found having adopted brothers and 
brother and sister has helped me um, in many different ways. And what I want to do in this video is just to say that if you're adopted, it doesn't mean your parents didn't want you. It means that you are special. It means that you were loved. And it was circumstances that made them have to give you up. As I say, it could have been any reason. Mental health. Too young. Giving up anything, especially a child, is extremely hard. And seeing those that have to do it suffer is heartbreaking. I have been lucky because I have been able to have my own child. Not many people can have can do that. And when my brother and my sister were adopted, it was very different to now. Back in the 60s and before, it was a closed adoption. Whereas, as far as I'm aware now, it can be, there can be an open adoption. With my brother and my sister, they knew nothing about their real family, their birth parents. Um, nor did my parents. It is extremely difficult. No wonder adop adopted children have issues. Uh, especially mental issues, where they do feel unwanted, uncared for. This, is, as I said, this is not true. You are loved from the bottom of your adopted parents' hearts. Never feel guilty for being adopted. Never feel unwanted or unloved, because you will be. You are, by everybody that knows you. I know this may be a short video, but all I wanted to say was to those that have been adopted that can see this, please just follow your dreams, live life to the full and appreciate the life you're given and the fact that you are blessed and your adopted parents are blessed to have you. Never, ever, ever feel guilty, angry or ashamed of being adopted. This is why I feel my sister has had a tough road and has a bit of a chip on her shoulder because she feels ashamed of being adopted. There is no shame in being adopted. Believe me. You are part of that family. You, you will be loved. You are so special. You were chosen. Just remember that. You were chosen. Thanks for watching. Hopefully next week I'll have another video. If not, it will be the week after, but I will let you know. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe and press the notification button so that you'll be notified when my next video is up. Thanks again and please treat those you meet with love, kindness, respect and positivity. Thank you.